Okay, so I'm gonna try and record this anyways, even though my front camera has a crack in it, which is why there's funny glares and blur spots. Blur spots, blur spots, anyways. But, um, I, and sorry, I was gonna try to do this without my sunglasses, but I'm like blinded. So, I knew something crazy was gonna go down on Walking Dead last night. And I just, you know, I wasn't, it was, you know, no big deal. I was just going to watch it, like, this morning when we got up. But, well, we, the Cowboys had the late football game last night. So, we had friends over and we're watching the game. And about halftime, I start getting um, text messages and messages on Facebook and comments on my wall. Just, have you seen Walking Dead? It's crazy. What would you think? What would you think? And so, I'm like, that's weird. That never happens. Like, we always watch Walking Dead. And... You know, that's no secret, but usually, so I knew something birth-related had to go down. I mean, Lori's like overdue or past due or whatever, and a few episodes ago, they made it, no, they made it a point to say how she had had a C-section the first time, and I thought, oh man, you know, so, I, I don't know. Like, and maybe just because I'm a birth geek, I kind of, like, was excited that she was pregnant because I thought, oh, what, it's the zombie apocalypse. She can't go to the hospital. She can't be induced for no medical reason. Like, she can't, you know, I thought, how amazing they're going to be able to portray birth in its natural state, even if it is in a prison cell, right? Even if they're zombies, whatever. Well, of course not. And so, when I started getting all those messages, I thought, oh, no, what happened? Um... So I couldn't wait to watch and so we stayed up extra late even after being up super early because the kids got up ridiculously early because of the time change and um, so I watch it and I'm like oh all right all right you know Maggie saying awesome things to her you know just let your body do the work it knows what to do and then all of a sudden she's like no don't push there's something wrong and I'm like no 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 um, because in that instance, you would need a medical doctor. You would need, you know, I mean, those are the reasons why you transfer. When you've got things like that, like, um, my guess was either placental abruption or uterine rupture. And, um, so, I mean, I, I'm sure it's not, the, such specific details are not going to get written into the script because, come on. And the real world doesn't care about stuff like that. Um, but of course my head immediately starts going, what in the world? So she, you know, and this is so, I, I can't imagine having to make that decision. Like it's either life or death for you. Well, really it's death for you no matter what. You have a C-section, you're going to die. You know, you're going to bleed out without proper, I don't know. I don't know. Um, or if you continue with a placenta abruption, you're going to bleed out and die. And so is the baby. So it's like, just save the baby or you both die. And so sad. I can't imagine. I cannot imagine having to make that decision. Um, so Maggie delivers the baby with a pocket knife. <laughs> which, I mean, you got to use what you got to use, man. And I am not... I... I I didn't even bat an eye. I was just like, good for you, Maggie, go. But honestly, like, and this is a whole other video topic, but I have recently read a book called When Survivors Give Birth, and it's just meaning survivors of abuse and trauma and um, child abuse and rape and things like that, and her C-section scene, I felt like I was watching somebody be raped. Like, it was traumatizing almost. It just, um... The, the shriek in the shrill I got goosebumps now that she let out I just was like I I just cry <laughs> and um, you know and then instantly I'm like what about breast milk I mean there that was another reason I was like yay Lori's pregnant she's gonna have to breastfeed there's no formula you know so and no clean water and so I was like yay they're gonna portray breastfeeding on Walking Dead well not when the mother dies so what's gonna happen now and man I just 
I watched Talking Dead afterwards too, and one of the tweets on the show was, "All right, somebody better start relactating. I'm looking at you, Herschel." So I thought that was kind of funny because, I mean, wow. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I just needed to kind of decompress from uh, that scene and that storyline and. Holy cow. So then, T-Dog, like, seriously, why T-Dog? Like, they can't have more than one black person in the group? Like, hello? <laughs> um, and I say that lovingly. I've got several <laughs> black friends, and they, that's always their joke. Is black guy always dies first? Black guy always dies first. And so, I was talking to some of them, and they were like, oh... <laughs> You know, I'm so I was so excited when he's like still on and it's season three. Well, dang it. Introduce the new prisoner and then the other guy has to die. So that sucks. Um I really liked him. Um so then the other storyline, I, I loved how he like, you know he was heroic going out. It wasn't just like, oh he got bit and there he went. I mean like he Hopefully he saved Carol's life. We don't really know what happened to her yet. Um, yeah, and so then, oh God, when Maggie and Carl come out holding the baby, like we don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. I know in the comics it's a girl, but I don't know what they're gonna do like as far as the storyline and because, whatever. Um, but, I just, my heart, like, I, literally, I, I was bawling by that point. Because I was already, like, emotional from Lori's birth scene. And then, to see Rick completely break down like that after being so emotionally closed off from Lori anyways. Which, I'm still not really sure why. I mean, I don't really have any theories about that yet. But, um, I just lost it. Even my husband, <laughs> he shed a tear. He was... He's like, wow, that was, that was rough. And, um, losing, a, you know, seeing a man lose his wife in childbirth, um, it hits home with my husband because of our traumatic experience after Carson. And, uh, yeah, so that was sad. I saw him shed a tear and he was like, that was, uh, the most intense episode I've ever seen. So, anyway, um, I mean... Merle is such an asshole, too. I, I, ugh, but Andrea gets on my nerves. Merle's an a-hole. I don't really know what's going on, but I'm almost nervous because I hate getting connected to characters and they kill them off. Like, what are we doing? So, I don't know. So, if anybody else has watched this show, I'd love to see a video response or just comments. We can discuss it in the comments below. So, anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.